Mark Caro, entertainment reporter for the Chicago Tribune, and this time I'm here with the man who plays Joe in the Lyric Opera's current production of Showboat, as well as a fellow who makes Rick Hogan sound like Mickey Mouse, <laughs> Morris Robinson, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> say, say hello to everyone. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Well, you, you, <laughs> I, you, I said hi to everyone. You should say hi to everyone. <laughs> How's everybody doing tonight? Good? Good, good, good. All right, let, let's cut to the chase. What was the first time someone said to you, you know, you should sing Old Man River? <laughs> <laughs> the first time I said hello. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, um, I was working with Todd Duncan, uh, the original Porgy from Porgy and Bess in Washington, D.C. And at the time, I was working for 3M Company, and uh, Virginia was my territory, and I was in D.C., and auditioned for a chorus there, and the choral director said, you got to sing for this guy. And uh, uh, I went to his studio and I uh, did a voice lesson with him, and then I came back the next time. And I think at the time, he was in his early 90s, still had a great ear, and he sat at the piano, and he was blind, and he played this little melody, and it was like, da dum bum da dum bum 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 He's like, do you know what that is? I was like, no, sir. He says, well, you better learn it, because you're going to be singing a lot. And, uh, and uh, he was right, so... <laughs> So how old were you at this point? I was 29, and then at the age of 30, I quit my job. And I, I left 3M and went to a, a division of Exxon to Monsanto up in the New England Territory. And I was living in New Hampshire at the time and auditioned for a weekend program at the New England Conservatory of Music. And uh, I sang, oh, say, can you see? And she stopped playing and said, you should sing opera. And uh, I went to Boston University at the age of 30 and started studying music, and it never really looked back. So, yeah. So, you, so, yes, you're now one of the most accomplished opera singers in the country, and you didn't start till you were 30. <laughs> well, you know, I, yeah, I... I <laughs> well, that's pretty good. There's, say, there's, yeah. there's hope for... All right, I, I'm not 30, but you know, still, I, you know. If I were a lyric soprano starting at the age of 30, I'd be insane to, to quit my job. But uh, because I was blessed with some natural gifts, uh, God gave me, obviously, a, a, a bass voice, which is a very rare instrument. And... You know, coming from my background of going to a high school performing arts, growing up in a musical family in the church where I was, I was actually the drummer. I didn't sing a lot, but uh, I, I had a good sense of music, and I, it was, just came kind of naturally for me. And, and, you know, then came the hard work. You know, the, the voice was there. Uh, the natural musicianship was there. But then I had to learn styles, and I had to learn languages, and I had to learn how to act and all that kind of stuff. And that, you know, the academic part I felt I was bright enough to, to overcome is the... The gift that you're given, though, I mean, you can't teach anyone how to run fast. If you're a football player, you can't teach anyone how to have the pipes that God blessed me with. So I'm very, very fortunate in that regard. So you grew up in Atlanta. And speaking of football players, you were an offensive lineman at the Citadel. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's another twist to the story. <laughs> you, you, yeah. you would look at the guy and you think, that guy didn't play football. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh... <laughs> That's nice. No, no, because well, no, uh... you got... <laughs> I, um... I was actually on the second winningest team in Citadel football history. Uh, we won a lot of games, beat a lot of people, and, uh, you know, it was, it was a great time. I was able to actually stay with the music while I was that because I, uh, I helped found the gospel choir, and I was the piano player and the director for the gospel choir. So I was captain of the football team and also playing for the choir. Was, uh, those two roles usually don't blend. but uh, yeah. You were an All-American. <laughs> I was the first team Kodak All-American, second team Sports Network All-American, second team Sporting News All-American. Is, is it too late for the Bears to uh, get you yeah. on board? Because they could use some off help on the offensive you line. You know what? I'm so old and out of shape now, man. I, well, you know. so, are, so are a lot of the Bears. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here you're, you're at, so now you're at a show. So how many times would you say have you sung Old Man River in your life? In my life? Uh, usually one per concert. I do a lot of opera. Concerts is about, comprises about 30% of what I do. But I... You know, it's really funny. I'm a, just in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm a six foot three black guy. So, uh, Old Man River is like what they're wanting to hear at the end of my concert. So, <laughs> and I make them wait. I really make them wait. I'll start off with some Wolf and I'll do some Schubert, then some Mozart and some Verdi and John Jacob Niles and all this stuff. And they're just like, sing Old Man River, please. And then I'll come back and do it. So, <laughs> well, you will. See you what will. I mean? See? There you go. <laughs> I, if someone yells Freebird, I'm going to get mad, though. <laughs> All right, well, one more question, though, because I'm going to go. So now you're in Showboat. Right. You sung Old Man River in concert all these times. Yeah. Now all of a sudden you're on stage and you're acting. Yeah. How, how are you singing it and doing it differently now? It's, uh, you know, once you throw it into the, the, the uh, 
parameters of a, of a play, of a show, uh, the whole thing takes a different light. I mean, you know, now I have a character to work with, I have scenery, I have a plot. Uh, it has more meaning, and I'm able to actually relate it to other things. I mean, before you're singing it because it's a beautiful piece of music, and you know what it's about, but once you're into, in the context of the, of the show, it, 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 it allows you to go deeper. Uh, and it means more to me now than anything. I mean, there's a certain amount of feeling I have about this because I understand Joe. Uh, I understand him to be the cerebral character that he is, the forward-thinking person who's speaking metaphorically about the river, representing life passing by. So uh, it's, a, it's, you know, it's a very intellectual approach, obviously, from being informed, but also allows me to dig deeper into whatever musical gifts I have to express those intellectual capacities that he had in this, in this play. So are you, re are you willing to sing it for us right now? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think I have a choice Do, do you want him to? <laughs> All right. Accompanied by Craig Terry on piano, who plays Jake in Showboat at the Lyric Opera's production, here is Morris Robinson with Old Man River. Sick 